Hi, you're with Cody and Pete, and today we're going to be working on the Bernina 475. This, as I mentioned before in other videos, this is my absolute favorite uh, compact small Bernina machine. The 4, the four Series is fairly new to the Bernina lineup. Um, it's an excellent compact machine, and it has all the benefits and all the features that our uh, like more modern, like our uh, bigger 7 Series machine has that we absolutely love. There are a few differences. Um, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, so the and with the 475, it's a five and a half millimeter stitch width, which is excellent for those are uh, for those of us who are piecers. Cause we we like the smaller, more compact uh, stitch width. So we're dealing with more delicate, more intricate things. It's easier to feed under um, a foot that's smaller and feed dogs that are more compact. Um, just like all the Perdina machines, we all have full shank feet and our stitch plates come off super easy. So this stitch plate is the one that comes with it, which is the five and a half millimeter. We can also uh, get the zero millimeter stitch plate for it. So if you are wanting more intricate uh, straight line piecing, or if you're sewing on a more delicate fabric, that's uh, zero millimeter stitch plate is excellent. Um, something that is a little different, the threading of the machine is very easy. Uh, so we thread very similar to how we thread our 7 series. So always hold the thread with each hand. We're going to floss it back here and always hold tension with your right hand. And you bring it down, bring it over, bring it up. And we want to make sure our uptake lever is up here, ready to accept the thread. You're going to pop it in and wait for it to snap and then pop it forward. So that's something that's different. So th that mechanism really prevents the thread from ever coming out of the uptake lever, uh, which is really nice. And that snapping ensures that we get it where we need it to go. And then, so there's a little clip here, we'll get it behind there. And then there's a little clip on the side, coming from the left, and you get behind there. At this point, you can uh, release the thread from your right hand. Don't put the foot back on just so you can see. So of course, we, we always want to thread our machines with the foot up so our tension discs are open, willing to accept the thread. So we can now lower our foot. So we're going to bring our needle threader down about halfway, wrap the thread around here, hold it in this position facing you, push the needle threader all the way down. So once you have it all the way down, you're going to feed the thread right through that little clip. And then the best part is you're going to wrap around that cutter. That cutter is going to hold the thread for you. So it takes away that last step that most people uh, kind of mess up on. And then you let go of the thread cutter. It pulls the thread right behind the needle and we can just start sewing from this point on. There's really no need to pull the thread from behind the needle. You still can, um, but there's not a huge need for it. It does usually do a very well, jo uh, good job from this point on. So that's the simple... Uh, threading of the machine, and that thread cutter underneath the throat is awesome. So this machine does have four thread cutters. Um, you've got the thread cutter up here on the bobbin, you've got the thread cutter on the left hand side, you've got the thread cutter underneath the throat, and then of course our thread cutter underneath where our bobbin and bobbin case is. Another nice thing, which all of our Brunina customers already know, is all of the Brunina's come with a free hand, um, so basically no feet. Uh, slide on table and they are very robust. I've had mine for many many years and I have yet to break it and I apply a lot of pressure on the machine and it holds up very very well so there's no feet to be in the way. Um, a new change from the 7 series is there's, there's no more need for a little torque screwdriver to be able to change the needle where you can easily change the needle by the slightly larger screw you can just turn it kind of clockwise and the needle comes straight out super easy so that's nice that they did get rid of that little uh that itty bitty little screw they require that little screwdriver here we can just tighten it by hand and you're good to go and just like all of our other Bernina machines we've got the our uh, buttons so we've got reverse our thread cutter so this is the lowest model true Bernina machine that has a thread cutter which is fantastic. Uh, we have our tie-off function and our start-stop button. So this, we can sew if we wanted to. We could sew with our start-stop button and we control our speed here. And so we can go really slow to really get and start and stop slowly and go where we need it to go more precise. It really just takes one stitch at a time. Also works with our foot pedal. Um, our needle up, needle down. So this will physically bring the needle down or bring the needle up. And this is our pattern end button, which is fantastic. So while clicking the pattern end button on the pattern, the stitch, the pattern that you're on, it will complete that pattern and then stop. 
Um, just like all of our other Bernoulli machines, we have a very high definition uh, touch screen. This is a five inch touch screen. So all the stitches we have on the screen, everything we select is to scale. So, oh, different. Wrong one. <laughs> so the screen, when we select a stitch, it's going to display the stitch with the stitch width and the stitch length, but it's displaying it to you to scale. So if we were to stitch this zigzag out, place it next to the screen, it's going to be the exact same size. So when we use our multifunctional knobs and we increase the width or increase the length, that's the exact size it's going to stitch out. So there's no guesswork to see exactly how it's going to look uh, once it stitches out to see uh, for it to match what we want it to be. It does have automatic thread tension. Uh, we are able to adjust on the side the pressure foot pressure. So if we're sewing through thicker or thinner fabrics, we can adjust the amount of pressure that our foot applies to our fabric to ensure it doesn't really stretch our fabric and it feeds evenly through. Uh, we do have security settings. When we do change our stitch plates, just like on all the other machines, we'll come here where it shows a little picture of the stitch plate and we can either tell it a five and a half millimeter stitch plate or a zero millimeter stitch plate. But from this same screen, we can tell if we're using a twin needle and what size. So say if we're using a 2.5 twin needle, you can click here and tell, okay, we're using a 2.5 twin needle. That 2.5 represents the distance between each needle. That's 2.5 millimeters. Um, and on the screen, so we had a zigzag selected, and now it's showing both zigzags, um, a zigzag for each needle. Remember, everything is to scale. So how it's going to stitch out is how we are going to see it. So by changing it on the screen, telling it we're using a 2.5 millimeter zigzag or twin needle, it will then alter how we can use certain stitches. So right now, if we had a much larger zigzag, like right here, so if I try to make that zigzag a max at 5.5 millimeters, which is a max for a single needle, but not for a twin needle. So here it's showing our design in red. It means we would end up breaking the needles, hitting the foot, hitting the stitch plate, we well, actually probably hit the foot first, uh, if we were to do that zigzag with that twin needle. And that's because the twin needle is on one shank that split off. So that means it's much wider. So this machine cannot handle a zigzag that wide with a 2.5 millimeter zigzag. I mean, I'm sorry, 2.5 millimeter uh, twin needle. So that's why whenever we are using twin needles, and we use this a lot in the class, um, you wanna make sure you tell the machine. Same thing for wing needles. Um, and the second button just represents if our feed dogs are down, it'll let us know. And just like all of our other Bernina machines, we have our information screen, our little eye. And by clicking here, it'll give us more options and more abilities of, uh, that we can do with particular stitch. Something else that's really awesome that most people overlook. So by hit, hitting the little house button, we have our uh, creative consultant, our on-screen manual. So the creative consultant, by clicking this, we can tell it what type of thread, I'm sorry, what type of fabric we're sewing on, and it'll tell us how to adjust our machine for certain things, um, and a lot of things it will change for us. So say if we're working on a medium weight knit, so just hit that and say put a zipper in the medium weight knit. So it's going to tell us what type, what type of needle, so we're going to want to stretch like a jersey needle, what type of thread, which stitch, which foot to use, and if we hit OK, it will change a number of these things for us. So it adjusted our needle position, um, it changed to a straight stitch, we then it, uh, adjusted our stitch length. So in this case, you also would want to adjust the pressure foot pressure. So this is also one of the lowest um, Bernina machines, the lowest lineup of the Bernina machines that gives you that pressure foot pressure. Um, that was really only um, given to the more higher end machines. So for much less than $2,000, you can get a lot of features. They really upgraded uh, these new machines. And same thing by Hick in the House, you have your on-screen manual. If you have questions about quilting, blind stitch applique, they'll give you instructions, fabric, needle, thread, stitch numbers, you name it, it's all in your on-screen manual. It's fantastic, having all that at your fingertips. Um, another awesome, awesome thing about this machine is the 475 is BSR compatible, which means the machine is capable of using the Brunian stitch regulator, which is excellent if you have like a 770 that came with the stitch regulator already, and you want to take this to class, you just take your uh, BSR, your Brunian stitch regulator with you, you plug it into the back of the machine, and you are good to go. Awesome. 
Um, another thing is they eliminated the torque screwdriver to remove the, uh, to loosen the screw that's holding the needle. Another thing, they eliminated the uh, torque screwdriver, the other torque screwdriver, to take off this uh, side of the machine to get in there and kind of clean and dust. Here, we can just grab this front faceplate and move it over and it's open. So now you are able to clean and dust out your machine just by snapping that off. So there's truly no screwdrivers required for any maintenance or cleaning of the machine. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, a few other changes is our vertical spool pin is now, you just click, and there he is. Click it down, and he's hidden away. Um, the touchscreen is also different. So like our 7 series and our 8 series, the touchscreen is pressure sensitive, and this touchscreen is more like your cell phone. So just a light touch will change something. So that's why this stylus, which works on my 7 series, does not work on this screen. Um, it comes with a different type of stylus, the stylus that you would use on your phone. But super easy to change. All right, that's a good quick overview of the new Bernina 475 Quilters Edition. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do because it is a fantastic machine. This is why I stock my classroom with these. So if you're ever taking one of my um, comprehensive feet classes, one of my series of comprehensive feet classes, you would be on the Bernina 475 because it's just a great classroom machine, a great all over machine. Um, and it just works like a charm. And it has so many features that we never thought we'd see on a Bernina at this price range. All right, well, happy sewing.